Hi Aries, welcome to Angel Love 333. I hope everybody's doing well. We're gonna do, uh, your reading today is gonna be the person on your mind. So somebody that you're thinking about, this is somebody that you know. We will also look at new love, right? If some of you are keeping your options open or you're interested in new love, uh, we'll look at that as well. Now this reading may not resonate with everybody out there, so uh, take what resonates. There will be an extended reading link below in the description box. Uh, in the extended reading, I do an almost personal reading of your person, what they're thinking, feeling about you, their upcoming actions, their intentions, uh, love notes and guidance, all right? So regardless of what comes out in the reading, I, I treat it as an almost personal reading, okay? Um, or I should say I treat it as a personal reading. Now, the last thing that I'm going to bring up is I am giving away one free personal reading each month to enter. You just need to be a subscriber, like the video, and leave a comment, okay? I will announce the winner the first week of every month, um, so details are below if you'd like to check it out. So with that, Aries, let's get started here. We're going to uh, see what the energy is here. We're going to pull some romance angel cards. Okay, this one wanted to come out. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. All right. So feels like somebody wants to express something or they're interested in you. You have let your friends help you ask for an, uh, I'm sorry, Ask for and accept support from others. All right, I'm going to pull another one before I say anything. And we have here, okay, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Okay, so Aries, um, it may be you're trying to let go of somebody here, I'm going to say. Um, some of you may be trying to get some support here to let go of somebody uh, having a hard time here. This could be somebody, I'm just going to say it could be a person, uh, right, maybe needing to let go of an ex or a past hurt, okay? Sometimes we carry ex energy. It doesn't mean that we're with an ex, but sometimes we carry the energy with us, and it's kind of we just need to do that healing or clearing our energy or clearing our chakras. So some of you may be doing some energy work, right? Maybe trying to let go of a hurt or, you know, could be the, an ex here. Um, so you're going to take that one, how it resonates with you. It could be your person here, right? Letting go of past hurts, baggage, or an ex, okay? But there's somebody here wanting to express their love to you. Somebody here that's interested in you. So let's uh, see what the energy shows. We'll know more with the release your ex as we uh, pull the tarot. So let me get a few shuffles. I've always already done some pre-shuffle, so I'm not going to do a whole lot of shuffling on camera here so let's cut the cards okay so know that roles and energies can be reversed especially if you're a cross watcher and it's not about male, male or female it's about the energy okay when i do the reading here so okay look at that first card out is the seven of swords we have the eight of wands we have the Page of Swords. We have the Three of Wands. We have the Magician. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Seven of Wands. The Page of Wands. <clears throat> okay. And we have here the Eight of Cups. All right. So interesting energy here. And we have the Shadow side here. So. I feel like either you or your person, I'm going to say here, I feel more like your person. Now I'm feeling more like your person here is releasing some past energy um, or it could be a past ex I'm getting here, okay? We're going to clarify what's needed here in, in your reading, but let's see what we got, okay? We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Three of Wands and we have the Seven of Wands. So this is your recent past energy. So I feel this person that's on your mind, Aries, is somebody, 
I don't feel like this person, one, has been completely honest about their past, okay? Going back to the release your ex energy. I feel like this could be somebody who still thinks about the past or still thinks about an ex. Um, and it may be that they're trying to get some help, right, to release um, that situation, okay? And some of you, I'm just going to say, I'm not really picking up third-party situation here, but it's possible, okay? Anything's possible. But I feel like you got somebody here who really wasn't taking things to the next level. Their energy shows definitely that their energy is very guarded very defensive energy is what i'm picking up there um, it feels like this is somebody um who wasn't really taking the action that you needed them to take okay if that makes sense to you so we're going to clarify i'm going to clarify I'm going to clarify this three of wands, okay? So, you know, I do feel like your person was thinking about the future. Like I said, this is in the past. Thinking about the future, thinking about what they want, right? Envisioning, envisioning, what am I trying to say? Envisioning what, um, you know, where things could be with you and them. Or again, like I said, I feel this person could have had their walls up here because of a past situation but we're going to clarify we're going to see what that three of wands is what were they what were they looking at what were they thinking right in the past when they were with you now we have here and i'm just going to say you could still be with this person okay but this is picking up the past energy of what they were thinking in the past okay you have here the eight of wands you have the magician and you have the page of wands here okay so i do feel um aries that you got communication from this person okay <laughs> Um, I love the, the page of wands on this card because the energy there is like, hi, <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> it's like a little kid um, in the, uh, what is it, in the good tarot, I love the page of wands as well because it's like a, mis it's like a mischievous energy and I get that from your person. I almost get here like your person kind of has that little twinkle in their eye that they're a little bit mischievous, okay? Um, I almost feel like for some of you, Aries, that maybe uh, you love that about them. I don't know why, but that's what Spirit's telling me. You have the Eight of Wands, the Magician, and you have the Page of Wands, okay? So this is someone, right, I feel uh, pretty soon here because this is showing up in the current energy. Somebody here who's going to take action here, who's going to reach out. Now, this person may have already reached out to you because it's showing up in the current energy. But this is someone here who is uh, coming around. I think I'm going to clarify, right, this magician, right? What is this person wanting to make happen, right? We see communication here. We see this person reaching out to you. But what what is it, right? Because we're going to see what they're thinking in the past. And we're going to see here what they're wanting to make happen here in this situation, all right? Now, uh, in your near future energy, you do have the Eight of Cups, you have the Knight of Cups, and you have the Page of Swords, okay? The energy that I get here is that even though this person is reaching out to you, their energy feels like they're still going to come, well, you know, if this person was like kind of closed off a bit or a little bit emotionally distant, I feel like this person here is going to be a little bit closed off emotionally, okay? They're going to be a little bit closed off emotionally is what I get. They're going to show enough interest is what I get here, but there's just something here that tells me that this person, right, this Eight of Cups energy, and it may be because they're needing to release either past um, emotions that they haven't dealt with from, a, from an ex, or there's actually an ex, right, that they're needing to let go of. Okay, so um, we're going to clarify what that Eight of Cups is, what they're needing to walk away from, all right, um, in, you know, for this connection to work. So let's see what's uh, here. We have the Shadow side, we have the Ten of Cups, 
and we have the Sun card. What this is telling me upcoming is that your person, Aries, is somebody who's got some shadow work to do. They got some work to do to be ready to be in a happy relationship for there to be potential between you and them, all right? Now, in the extended, we will see, right? I already talked about what's gonna be in the extended, but we will see what their intentions are. So that will be key to know, right? So let's do some clarifying now. We're going to start with that three of swords okay now i'm going to say with the seven of swords you could you know this could be somebody who could have been a bit manipulative they could have been hiding right hiding right that maybe there was an axe here that they were dealing with or someone they just had a really hard time getting over okay so let's see why this three of wands is here why is this three of wands here okay so we have um, the four of coin we have the palace of wands and we have the five of wands yeah there was interference here i feel okay like i said it's either an internal struggle about their feelings and their emotions here right um and and it shows me here this is why they were holding back you got the queen of coin here okay so i'm just gonna say aries there could have been another person an earth sign around your person or i'm picking up fire earth and fire here or your person could be earth or fire but this is somebody who was holding back who was keeping things casual um, I feel here somebody who wasn't taking things to the next level, right? To that four of wands energy. Okay. So I'm going to also say here too, it doesn't, um, I'm just going to say there could also be, I feel like there could be a friend uh, that your person uh, was maybe asking for advice from. And this person I feel here could have been interfering here to in this connection here, right? So I'm going to say, well, maybe this person was opening up to a friend and not directly to you, all right? Which caused right caused some some struggle there is what I get. Okay. Now we're gonna see what they want to make happen. All right. Let's let's clarify the magician. What does this person want to make happen? What is this person trying to do? Right, coming towards Aries. They're definitely coming towards you in a passionate romantic way okay some of you they could actually be traveling to you or they they may even spontaneously ask you to travel but let's see what the magician says here okay what is this person trying to make happen here with communication all right we have the page of cups we have there the five of swords Oh boy, four of swords, temperance, and the devil here. Capricorn energy, Sagittarius energy. And, and meanwhile here, we have all the energies on the board, okay, with the strong signs I called out. And look at this, the nine of swords, okay. Yeah, it goes back to... It feels like there's been some distance or separation here between you, Aries, and this person, okay? I feel like that your person, it goes back to, right, the, the X energy there. There's something here that this person needs to release. Um, but I'm going to say that this person here... It feels like this person is coming around, not change. And I'll be quite honest there. You got the Page of Cups and you have the Five of Swords, okay? So internally with their emotions here, this is someone here who hasn't dealt with their past conflicts, hasn't dealt with their past uh, situations, right, that have caused them to be guarded, um, caused them to might maybe not open up completely emotionally or be vulnerable you have the four of swords the temperance and the devil okay
This is someone, I'm just going to say, this is someone who has some inner demons, right? Some shadow work that I talked about, fears here that they need to deal with, okay? So they're coming back around trying to open up communication with you, but it feels like this person really hasn't done the work that they need to do. Look at that. You got the Nine of Swords, okay? So you could be dealing with someone who's a worrier, right, that thinks a lot, I feel like your person overthinks things, right? Which, you're not that type of person, Aries. <laughs> Let's see why the Eight of Wands is here. Let's see, what, what are they coming? They're coming towards Aries, right? What are they wanting to communicate? What are they wanting to communicate with Aries? To a coin. King of coin. Knight of Swords, okay. You know, I feel like your person is coming to you kind of in a spontaneous way. You got the Hermit here, Virgo energy. Your person here is, um, I feel, with the Two of Coin and the King of Coin. Maybe somebody uh, who has, I'm just going to say, a bit of ego. Um, they may be somebody, you know, their energy feels back and forth with you, okay? So I feel like they they get um you know they have this spontaneous uh energy about them and they're like i'm going to contact aries right maybe i haven't heard from aries and um or you know and and that's where like this little like i told you like i felt like a mischievous energy here with the page of wands right they're coming back around because they know that they haven't done anything i feel here to change right or to change the situation so some time may have passed between the two of you right um i'm just gonna say they could be somebody too who does who you know intentionally puts distance between the two of you okay but so far i'm seeing that your person here is is they got some work to do right it feels like they haven't done the work let's see here we got the page of swords we have the knight of cups okay i want to see what that eight of cups is after we clarify this i am going to pull some more cards and see what the potential is here right but why is the Eight of Cups here, right? What is this person needing to walk away from um, in their life here? Okay, what is this person needing to walk away from? We have the Palace of Coins. We have the Six of Coins. We have the Nine of Swords. And we have the Three of Coins, and this one wanted to come out. And we have the Death card, Scorpio Energy. And we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, let's go through this. There's something here around money, okay? Your person here, you know, I almost get here that this is somebody, uh, I'm just going to say Aries, this could be somebody who does very well financially. They could be somebody, uh, you know, I'm going to say if, if you're, you know, if, if you're dealing with somebody who has had past children, who's been in a marriage before, um, I feel like this person is not is somebody who they may try to avoid a commitment or marriage um, for money reasons. Plain and simple is what I get there. Okay. Um, this may be somebody too, I feel that they were taken advantage of. That's what the spirit is telling me. This may be somebody who was taken advantage of in the past financially. And there's some worry here, something around money that they're worried about. Now, maybe they're still having, you know, if they have an ex, you know, and a, a, a child or just an ex, you know, there could be alimony involved or child support involved. I'm getting that energy as well. Okay. I want to see why this Knight of Cups is here, right? Why is the Knight of Cups here, please, right? Because it, they're coming towards you here in a romantic way, even though they need to release something to be emotionally more available. But you have here the Ten of Cups. You've got the Two of Cups. Oh, no, sorry. 
we have the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, Five of Coin, Six of Wands, okay. Bottom of the deck here, we have the Seven of Cups, okay. Yeah, I feel like your person emotionally is all over the place, okay? You do have the Six of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Five of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. I feel like this person wants your attention plain and simple, okay? They love what it feels like when things are new, okay? So they want to feel again the way that they feel, felt when they first met you is really what I get here. So they may be feeling right now, um, you know, because like I said, for some of you, you may be trying to release this person. They may be feeling right now that you, um, you know, maybe you're not giving them the attention that they, they like. And so I feel like this person here, they love spending time with you. They love being with you. Um, but I feel like this person is coming back around wanting your attention. But the per this person I don't feel has changed, right? We'll know more in the extended about your person, but I don't feel like your person has changed or done uh, the work. Oh, look at that. Before I could say anything, look what came out. The Knight of Wands. Yeah, your person's coming back around. They're coming in pretty quickly there as the Knight of Wands. But uh, we'll see what else your cards show. But consistency-wise, I don't know. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, didn't I just say it? Consistency-wise, I don't know. And the moon came out. So they're coming back around. Um, you know, I don't feel like anything's changed with them, right? And uh, I don't know if there's a whole lot of clarity there. Let's see what else came out, comes out. Six of Wands, again, wanting your attention. Now, we do have the Two of Wands on the bottom of the deck. It does feel like this person is thinking about the future, right? Their intention is coming towards you, definitely still attached to you. Why? But look at that. There's their walls up again. Um, and all they know, okay, I'm just going to say Aries, all they know is that they feel happy with you. Okay, plain and simple, I feel like this person just wants to be with you, wants to feel that way again, has their walls up. Okay, does that make them a bad person? No. Okay, but if they're doing something intentionally to hurt you, does that make them a bad person? Probably, yeah. Okay. I wanted to pull some cards now around um, new love, okay? What can you share with Aries? And then I'm going to take it to the extended, okay? And like I said, I treat it as a personal reading for your person. Uh, so link will be below in the description box if you don't want to stick around for singles or for, yeah, for new love. So what can you show Aries here about new love? What can you show Aries about new love? Okay, Page of Wands, King of Swords, Judgment, Eight of Swords. Okay, bottom of the deck here, you have the Tower card. All right, I do feel like there is somebody um, coming into your life here. All right. I'm just going to pull um, some more cards here. Okay, we've got the Ace of Swords. Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. You're going to have a decision or choice here, uh, Aries. There is a new person that's coming into your life here with that Tower card. Okay, the Divine is bringing you a new person here. It's something here that is unexpected. And I feel with this Page of Wands, there's somebody new here. There's uh, somebody here where there's communication. I feel like this is somebody here who is going to be upfront, somebody who's going to be honest. Uh, you have the King of Swords and you have the Six of Swords here. Okay, so I feel that if you don't get any clarity from this other person that you're dealing with in the past, I feel like um, that's probably why that released your ex is here. I feel like you're going to move on from this person. Okay, because I do feel like a new person here is going to be pretty upfront, clear about what they're wanting in a connection or a relationship where I feel like you're dealing with someone here who is not 
Um, I feel like they kind of avoid probably those conversations. You have judgment and the seven of swords here, okay? There's a decision here I feel that you're going to have to make here, right, about moving on. This card has a lot of different meanings, but one of the meanings here I, is that this could be, you know, moving on from one relationship towards something new, right? Picking up the pieces, learning from what you've experienced, especially here with the Judgment card, right? Going forward towards something new here, okay? This also can be an energy here of knowing that something has to change in your situation. So that's the Judgment call I feel that you will be making between, you know, a new situation and this other person you do have the eight of swords and you have the three of pentacles okay so i feel like um you know you may feel a little bit stuck here right how to proceed with this situation there is you know an energy of three people here okay so i do feel like you're going to have a choice between more than one person and some of you here too may be kind of stuck here right hoping that things will work out with you and uh this person on your mind so i'm going to take things to uh, the extended areas we're going to see how it plays out i hope to see you there i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and I'm sending you angel life.